The domino accident model developed by Bird and Germain is in the lineage of the model developed by Heinrich in the 1920s, who is considered the father of the safety management field. The model has gained some usage in the recreation and parks and outdoor fields. The purpose of this video is to provide a basic overview of their accident model. Viewers will note that their model emphasizes industry and manufacturing and the role of the safety manager in providing a safe work environment within the organization. In addition, their model is consistent with other prominent accident models. The first domino is loss. The result of an incident is injury damage or loss. The loss could be bodily injury, property damage, or financial loss. A van transporting campers has a flat tire. The tire is worn and should have been replaced. No one is injured. The loss is the destroyed tire. The incident is the event that precedes the loss. Bird and Germain acknowledge the concept of energy transfer associated with barrier analysis. If the amount of energy transfer is too much, it causes personal harm or property damage. Consistent with Hayden, they note that the energy transfer includes kinetic, electrical, acoustic, thermal, radiant, and chemical energy. The incident includes the blowout of the tire and pulling off to the side of the road. Causes are layered. Immediate causes are the symptoms or most obvious causes. Traditionally, they are unsafe acts or human behavior and unsafe conditions or environmental conditions. Moving on from these terms, Bird and Germain label them as substandard practices and substandard conditions. Also, they suggest avoiding the term error, which suggests blame of the individual. Their emphasis on industrial or manufacturing is obvious from the categories and terminology used. Examining substandard practices suggests defective equipment is the immediate cause of the tire incident. Basic causes are the second layer of causes. Divided into personal and job factors, they are the underlying causes behind the substandard practices and conditions. They help explain why people perform the substandard practices and conditions. As evident from the massive listing of factors under each of the factors, the basic causes constitute a massive listing. Consult Bird and Germain for the expansion of this list. In addition, it is easy to see how the basic causes form the basis of this author's underlying factors as well as the causal factors used in other models. In the van incident, inadequate maintenance and wear and tear are two basic cause categories that indicate the underlying or basic causes of the incident. The wear and tear example is shown. Lack of management control emphasizes the management policies, practices, and procedures of the organization. It is how the company is run. It defines the management culture. Bird and Germain note that control is one of Henry Fayol's five management functions of planning, organizing, commanding, coordinating, and controlling. Accident prevention emphasizes control. They note correctly that the lack of control sets the stage for the other dominoes in their model. In the van incident, a van replacement schedule, a maintenance schedule, and a vehicle maintenance inspection checklist are management controls that reduce the likelihood of the basic and intermediate causes resulting in an incident or loss. The model represents roughly 100 years of safety management. The model emphasizes the role of the safety manager within the organization. This is evident in Heinrich's Ladder of Accident Prevention. The safety director or safety engineer applies the research method to generate accident data, analyze the data, determine remedies, and then implement the remedies. With modification, Bird and Germain's domino accident model can be utilized in the outdoor field. 
the model has been updated to include barrier analysis and it has had considerable influence on other accident models in the safety field.